for the Blues. Uh, you've, we talked about Mike Keenan in this uh, with most of the players. I just want to get your reaction to the new coach and what, what do you think is going to differ from last year? Well, he brings uh, definitely a, a winning, uh, winning uh, tradition himself. He, uh, they just w come fresh off a of Stanley Cup. Uh, and he knows what it takes, obviously, to get there. He's been there three times, and um, you know he brings a lot of positive things to us. And there's a new building we're playing in, in the Kiel Center. It's a lot nicer or newer than the arena. What, what a, how big of a change is that going to be for the Blues to come into a new place, a new, new well, coach? I don't know how much. Uh, it's mostly the new coach and the new systems. Uh, the new building's nice, and it's it's. Uh, it's great for the fans. They really deserve it. I mean, with the, re the replays and the nice seating. With uh, John Casey coming here now, you have a reliable backup, which you haven't had in the last couple of years. Jablonski was pretty good, but now you can get some time off. Do you think this is going to make you sharper in games and be able to play up to your tip-top shape at every time? Well, I'm just going to play the same way I've been playing, uh, you know, for the last three years. And, um, you know, I, I every time I get a chance to play, I'm going to play hard and and try and put some points on the board for our team and um, that's not going to change the way I play. So Saturday, October 1st, Detroit, we'll see you out there. Now you get some time off with Mike Keenan taking over as general manager and coach, your executive vice president now, so now you get to do some of the different stuff that you haven't done before, right? That's what they say, but uh, certainly not the last 60 days. I've never worked that hard with the uh, hockey situation and so forth. Um, I think this year I'll be extremely busy evaluating uh, our prospects, guys that uh, we drafted and I haven't had a chance to go and see as the GM job calls for more uh, obligations. Uh, I don't plan to travel with the team as frequently as I did in the past. It's in good hands now. Uh, but, uh, you know, I may find some way of, uh, of uh, slowing down a bit but uh, um, we just finished uh, one of the most uh, uh, important training camp of our, uh, of our uh, 12 years that I've been with them, and uh, it's looking good for, uh, for this season. We talked to you in uh, June, and uh, we asked you who you might be getting, and you said, well, we need some experience. So you picked up Tikkanen, you picked up Carboneau, you picked up Blitzer. You have a bunch of St Stanley Cup winners now playing on the ice. Is, is this what you wanted? Is this when you talked to me in June? Is this what you were looking forward to? And hopefully, this is a team you had out there. Well, we we uh, we acknowledge the lack of um, of experience, especially in the playoffs against Dallas, where we lost in four. Uh, Whether the trade of the late of late January. Uh, remove some of the players that were providing the team with that element in the previous year against Chicago and Toronto. But now we have more than solved our problem by bringing guys that uh, have been through the trenches and so forth. And uh, they're going to teach uh, the other players on the team what to do and how to perform under, you know, playoff pressure. You know, a, lot of, a lot of the media people try to bring this thing on that Mike Keenan's a very intimidating coach. W is that true? Is he going to be harder on the players than some of the coaches before? Or is that just something that the media thinks because of his past in New York and Chicago? No, I think the media may have a perception of Mike Keenan. Uh, I know what he's going he's gonna to do here. He will, um, he will um, give instruction to his players and try to teach them how to work. A lot of people think that they've, not, they've learned how to work, but they don't. And uh, he's going to teach them habits and uh, how to go all out all the time. He'll develop attitude, and uh, and then he's going to make the team a better team. You have a new building now, the Keel Center. You kind of said that it, well, it's great, but it's not even built yet. What do you what do you think though so far of what you've seen in and out of the Keel Center? Oh, I mean, you're entering a new home, a home that will make you um, feel good about yourself and will give you better possibilities of. Uh, of working according to the new modern technologies. Uh, a lot of teams are operating likewise, getting new buildings. We were in Chicago last week, and uh, down the road it'll be Boston, it'll be Montreal, it will be Philadelphia. Um, one of the main reasons of having a new building is to generate more revenues in order to be able to meet your financial uh, obligations with the team. I haven't had time to really appreciate the building, but there's no doubt that at first sight, 
It's a gracious, big, and very well put together building. Now, October 1st, are the players going to be on the ice or are they going to be locked out, do you think? It's tough to say, but it doesn't look good right now as I'm talking to you, Demet. You hope that the two clans uh, could understand the situation and uh, come to what you call a, um, a medius, uh, you know, and, um, and have a go. But um, I haven't been close enough to uh, the activities, and uh, if it's going to happen, you need it to happen very quickly. Hopefully that uh, next week they, they could turn around and see it different way. So we're at the mercy of the athletes and the mercy of the ownership. So let's hope for the sake of the game that uh, there's a goal on October 1. Okay, well, I hope you enjoy your new position and just have some fun. Sports talk. One. What do I think? I think, uh, I don't know what I think. It's tough to say right now. We're, we're at odds. We're, so all I can say right now is that the players want to play and that the league has, has openly and publicly said that they will lock us out and not let us play hockey for the fans. Well, it was very exciting today. It was very exciting to have them here. It's, it's going to be a long season. We're a long, we're, we've got a lot of distractions going on right now, but uh, we're all happy that he's here and we can finally uh, we can see this coach that we've been reading about. Well, I, we didn't really, you know, talk about that. I, I think we're just more keeping this a team thing, and you know, we, we haven't had any individual meetings. But um, I think he knows the way I play and, and, and what I try to do for a team, and uh, just sure he's going to demand that from me every night. For with one of the newest Blues, Guy Carboneau, what do you think of this team's chemistry now that you're here, you're new? What do you think of the chemistry on this team? Well, it's, it's still early to, uh, you know, to decide what the, is the chemistry is. I think. Uh, uh, with the trades that they made this summer, uh, uh, one thing that I think they wanted to do with that is, is add more experience uh, on the ice, uh, more add more leadership maybe in the room, and a little bit more experience in the playoffs. Uh, uh, everybody know what the, the St. Louis Blues did in the past. I mean, they always had the offense, but uh, I think right now, if you uh, if you want to be successful uh, on the long run, especially in the playoffs, you have to be uh, as good as. Uh, uh, defensively and, and uh, you know with the addition that they made uh, I think uh, we have a better uh, leverage on that. With Mike Keenan coming in everybody says he's very intimidating and he's really going to be hard to play for. What do you think? How do you think he will be? I don't know. I had all kind of coach uh, during my career and I don't see any problems with Mike. Uh, uh, you know it doesn't matter really what kind of coach he is. I think as long as we win games and, and work really hard uh, there's not much uh, you know, much else he can do. Uh, the rest, you know, I, like I said, I never had problems with Coach, so I don't expect any problems with him. There's a lot of Stanley Cup skating around out there. Do you think this team is a Stanley Cup caliber team? I think so. I mean, you know, it's, it's yeah. still a long road, and there's a lot of uh, things that can happen during a season, like injuries and trades, and uh, some guys not, not going to be happy or strike. Like, But, uh, um, you know, I, I think we, we do have... Uh, uh, the kind of team that you need to, to, to be successful during the season and during the playoffs. Well, we welcome Guy Carboneau to St. Louis and hopefully a Stanley Cup. Mike Keenan took over on September 24th. He came back from his 60-day suspension, and this is probably the most awaited comeback of a coach ever in St. Louis. We got a chance to sit down with Mike Keenan, who will be heading the Blues as soon as the season starts, and we just kind of got to see what he thought about St. Louis and his new team. Here's that interview we did with general manager and head coach of the Blues, Mike Keenan. We're with Mike Keenan, the general manager and the coach of the Blues. That's a, boy, that's a great sound to me. I know every Blues fan right now is saying that's a great sound. How does it sound to you? I appreciate that. Uh, I've had tremendous, tremendous uh, support and a great reception here. And hopefully we can uh, reciprocate by giving back to the, to the city uh, the same uh, warm feelings and that obviously will come to them with successes uh, that the Blues uh, will enjoy and, and what the fans can enjoy with them. You had 60 days off. What would you do? I had a lot to do. I was very, very busy in terms of uh, my own personal life and when you have to move, uh, there's lots to do in terms of actually selling and buying and looking for places to live and moving furniture and things of that nature and, and uh, uh, I spent the, the greater part of that time doing that and had some time with my child. 
So, but now you're in the St. Louis, and what do you think of the city? I'm very impressed uh, with the city, uh, and particularly with the people of the city. Um, there's a lot of history here. It has its own, uh, uh, if you like, fabric. You can tell it uh, is a definite uh, part of St. Louis that uh, um, helps you distinguish it from other cities. And I've been mean, extremely impressed with the friendliness of the people. You know, it can be weird, though, when Chicago comes in, because when, when you're at the arena and they yell at you for the Belfour moves or whatever, isn't that going to be strange for you to come back and have this whole crowd in St. Louis on their feet 18,000 strong? Well, it's always part of sport, and I had some great experiences in various cities, Chicago being one. And, uh, of course, we played here often, so that made it uh, that much uh, more uh, uh, of an impact. So by that sport, and I, I've enjoyed my experiences. Over the summer, there's been some changes. Guy Carbonos come uh, as a ticket in, amongst others. Is there any more changes on their way, or is that basically what we're going to go with going into October? Uh, we're not going to make any uh, changes uh, in, the, in the near future. I mean, October is almost...